Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to another Palantir's earnings video. So I was actually looking at quarter four, the last video. So sorry about that. That was an honest mistake. Um, so I'm just looking over quarter one um, once again. So we have revenue growth of 21%. So my points to, you know, was the same. Um, Wall Street is not impressed with these earnings. Um, it's, you know, up only 1% since the last quarter's earnings. So for a growth company, you typically want to see 30%. Wall Street is not impressed with this, but the reason for this is because Palantir's business model is that they provide the service first, then they get paid after. So their service, sorry, their revenue is going to be a little bit delayed. And um, I, I think once again, what you want to look at is actually uh, the rev, sorry, the customer counts growth. So we have uh, US commercial revenue first off up 40%. So we can see that the point is still, you know, the same here that commercial is still growing at a very, very fast pace. And then you can see US commercial customer counts um, increasing 69% here. So this is a very huge uh, increase. And we should probably see this translated into revenue in the next few quarters. I'm not sure if it's going to be immediately the next few quarters or will it be, you know, the next year. But we should see this increase their revenue count substantially. Um, you have their, you know, last point is going to be cash. Um, cash is still pretty high here, 3.9 billion in um, uh, cash and cash equivalents, US Treasury. So this is going to be earning some yield here. And yeah, so all in all, their earnings are good, but Wall Street is not impressed here. And you can see with the stock price as well, um, the stock price is down after their earnings from its peak, about 12.88% here. So I wouldn't necessarily say this is a, a bad thing. I think what we are seeing is possibly uh, people who traded this stock for earnings traded up from you know uh, yesterday's low of about 23 and then sold at I would say you know maybe 26 right so that would have been a pretty good trade if people did that so that's what a lot of people did um, there are a lot of traders in pound here by the way so they made about a 12% or 13% know, profit they got out and that caused the stock to move down because from what I can see with their earnings they are um you know probably gonna stay here at these ranges here so the range is going to be about twenty dollars twenty dollars is going to be the base and then it's going to be about twenty eight dollars for the peak here until next quarter right so after that if their revenue continues to increase uh, substantially because we are seeing their customer account grow right so if they increase um, substantially their revenues we're probably going to see a $35 price target. So that's where I would expect pound here once that revenue actually comes in here. This is also Dan Iser's target here. Um, so that is going to be very in interesting. So all in all, uh, just to recap, I don't think the earnings are going to be very interesting for Wall Street. So there's not much to chew on. Um, but if you stop looking at the spreadsheets, if you look at their actual customer count and their you know commercial revenue, it's growing at a very fast pace and that is what you want to focus on here. So there you go. Um, Palantir did not get the same pump it did last earnings. Um, so, you know, that is uh, very unfortunate. So unfortunately, I was wrong with that. So I'm going to admit that um, we did not have this growth. But at the same time, we will eventually have this growth here. And yeah, so that's uh, what I see. So let's zoom out a little bit. Um, to the one day chart you can see that on the one day um it was actually pretty high on the rsi it was near to 70 rsi so as of now we'll probably start to see this move down a little bit um yeah it's about 23 so we hit a peak of 70 rsi typically overbought and then um, for tomorrow i would expect this to move down not that much you know it'll probably stay here um i might be wrong with that though but it'll probably stay here um, from you know what I can gather or it might hit a peak of 28 uh, or rather 27.5 since we already set this peak you know last quarter we might also hit that if you know other companies um, have very good earnings if the S&P 500 moves up then you know Palantir could move up as well uh, from what I can see with the S&P 500 sentiment is not that bad for the stock market so it could very well translate into Palantir's uh, stock price movements as well here. So yeah, so um, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.
and see you in the next one.